Hey guys, if you want to know how I got from the left to the right, keep on watching. What I did was start out with my flawless base routine and then moving straight on to the eyebrows with a black liquid liner. You can use any kind of eyeliner. Just fill them in completely and to make myself look sad, I put that little detail in the front of my brow. Now I'm going to prime and apply this bright purple shadow all over my lid up to my crease and give myself a very crisp line with that. Um, I'm not being 100% neat because I'm going to cover it up with eyeliner, but just packing on a couple layers if you need to. And obviously you can use any color you want to, but I chose purple for this look. You can do whatever you want with this, but I just chose a round shape, and once you have that, go ahead and apply a very thick, big, dramatic eyeliner. This is all about drama right now. I'm just applying that, I'll touch it up later, but a nice big cat eye, and then tracing the top of the eyeliner. That's why we didn't blend, because it's just going to be blocked off. Pretty much everything is being outlined today, and then fill in that little area with purple. But yeah, basically just trace around your whole eye. Totally out of frame for this part, but I just made an outline and filled in the tear kind of thing. So I just used white eyeliner, like I said, for that, and then took a light blue color and placed it on top to give it that tear effect, you know, because I'm a sad character. And then I outlined it just like everything else and added a little highlight on the center. Of course, out of frame for most of it, but you will see what it looks like. Pretty simple. And then run a lot of the white eyeliner into your waterline because you want to make your eyes look bigger. Now I'm just applying some mascara and a really, really big doll-like, larger than life, dramatic, crazy falsies. They're like huge. You'll see when I put them on, which I struggled to do on camera, but I thought they went very well for this look or worked well for this look. Then loading up on the bottom mascara just to bring it all together. Taking this super duper bright pink blush onto my cheeks pretty kind of heavily because it's going to be covered up with dots but just to add a little bit of dimension because I'm not contouring or anything. This is the part that's super time consuming. Um, this look isn't too hard but it's it takes a long time. It took me like two hours to do but totally sped up. You can use any color you want. Red, preferably I didn't have any red, or you could use face paint, but I'm just using this jumbo pencil by NYX to make it easier and just doing lines of dots all over my face basically. It's like a comic book kind of inspired thing. Here I'm just adding some lines on my nose to make it a little bit more defined and look like it's there, but also look flat. I'm outlining the sides and my nostrils a little bit just to give that basic shape. Now I'm just gonna, instead of contour, I'm gonna draw a black line in my cheekbones. And you get the idea. And then I'm taking this lipstick that I thought went really well with the look. It contrasts and I thought it looked really nice. This looks about vibrancy and contrast. So I'm just filling my lips in with that, not even lining. I'm taking a Q-tip and like wiping off little sections so I can place white eyeliner for a kind of reflection. Liner first, then going in with a pencil to make it more vibrant but I'm bringing this line underneath my lips pretty far down because you can't really see it and then just like you would kind of with a liner but not at the same time we're just defining my lip shape with a black you yeah <laughs> I think I said it before, this looks pretty much going to be lots of outlining, so just my jawline, jawline and forehead around my whole face, 
just to give me a flat cartoon pop art comic book two-dimensional kind of look. So that is the finished look. It took a long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know what videos you want to see next, Halloween or any in general, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!